everyone, Brenda Summers, Independent Sunsea Consultant. Today, as you can see, I have Shadow with me. Shadow, cup, give kisses. Mm. Mm. Thank you for the mommy kisses. Can you shake hands, shake paw, shake other paw? Okay. Can you sit pretty, sit pretty? So he's here with me in my um, video today. He likes being here. He's my best pal. He's spoiled. But I love them all the same. So there you have it. There's Shadow. Oh, you're being such a good boy. So he's in a playful kind of mood. He's just waking up. So then he had to jump up and see what's happening. So yeah. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Shadow. Another mommy kiss. Oh, thank you. And there you have it. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Um, welcome if you're new to my channel and welcome back if you're not. Today I'm going over a small Sunsea haul. It's a clearance haul. Um, it's what I picked up in the clearance section when Sunsea decided to fulfill or refill the clearance section. It had such good deals, but I had to refrain myself because I spend a lot of money on Sunsea too much at times. And I'm supposed to be on a budget, but what's a budget, right? <laughs> Especially when it comes to Sunsea. Anyways, um, without further ado, I'll go over my um, Sunsea haul. This is the box that it came in. So, hi Shadow. And then here's what I ended up taking out the paper and stuff. It's just ridiculous, the amount of paper. But I'm not complaining because all my things came um, to me, um, all safe and sound and secure. Um, I did not purchase wax, so I heard a lot of people's wax um, came to them as of late as melty wax messes. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Um, I hope that never happens to me, but you never know. Um, since he's been pretty good, um, but still in the hotter um, areas or regions in the world, you can get some pretty, pretty high... Um, terrible terrible temperatures and I couldn't even imagine I mean here in southwestern Ontario Canada it gets humid and it gets hot I mean to us anything over 30 degrees Celsius we're like melting um, you know even in the upper high 20s we're melting right now it's about 20 degrees Celsius um, it's a little bit humid I find it a little bit warm as I shoot this, um, but we've had torrential rains in the last few days, um, really, really hard. Normally we get those in April to May, but we hardly have had any rain as of late. I'm sure a lot of people would love to have our rain. I mean, everything here needed to be um, watered, like the flowers, the grass, the trees, I mean, so it's supposed to be rainy all week, so that's kind of cloudy and non-sunny. So it's kind of like, blah, but what else could you do? Uh, thank goodness, knock on wood, it's not snowing. <laughs> Anyways, that's just a little bit about my area. And um, right now we're in lockdown again. My region, it's one of the hot spots. So they're trying to vaccinate us as fast as they can. I had my first shot in April and my next shot now got moved up to five weeks earlier. So I go in early July. So I'll be glad for that um, to happen. I know we're still not safe and out of the woods just because you got your second vaccine shot. But I'll be glad to get it over with. They say that the second shot is worse than the first. My first shot, um, my arm felt like a brick for a couple days. It didn't swell or anything. And then I was really tired. I actually slept the whole weekend after that shot. So I hope it's not any worse than that. Anyways, um, what else is coming up? Bring Back My Bar is winding down. So June 30th is your last day to pick up any that you were thinking of if they're already out of stock they're out of stock the only way that you're going to get the out of stock um bring back my bars now is if you have a sensi club sensi club is a subscription that you can um, sign up to you don't have to pay a fee and you can cancel at any point in time it it gives you the feature of always bring always um bring back always have my bar or 
I, I can't talk. Um, but they'll always have your bar that you have in it as long as you keep it in it. Once you remove it, then it won't, they won't put it back in. So that's just the general concept of always um, got my bar or bring back my, I, I don't know the word. <laughs> it's too early in the morning to think. But anyways, everybody gets the gist of what I'm trying to say. And um, transition month is happening. So, um... We're coming up to a new warmer, and the new warmer will be the cute little cloud, if you haven't already seen it, with a cute smile. It's got the cute light, and then stargazing is the new scent of the month, so that's for July. Stargazing is just such a wonderful scent. I ended up getting it in one of the pods in, in one of my whiff boxes, and I fell in love with it, so I can't wait to actually get the actual bars. I didn't sign up. I'm a consultant. I didn't sign up for the, um, the kit. Um, I only do that if people are really, really interested. I just find that I end up with a lot of wax sometimes, especially if it's awful. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with it. So I know lately I haven't been signing up to scent of the month or warmer and scent of the month kits so anyways that's just something that we can do as Sensi consultants and then um this catalog um comes to an end at the end of july so the spring and summer catalog um ends july 31st i believe and then we transition over to the new august one so i can't wait to see the new catalog i think as consultants we can start buying our new catalogs at the beginning of July. So yay, and our new testers, I believe. So I'm looking forward to that. So if there's anything in this catalog that you really, really want, I would definitely buy it before it goes out of stock or out of sale. Um, sometimes they bring back some of the warmers and sometimes they don't. It all, all depends. The uh, most popular um, warmers will be brought back, but depending on the theme and what they're going for and the look, who knows? I mean, who knows what Sensi has up their sleeve? I mean, um, as of late, you can pre-order um, July 4th or July 7th, don't quote me, um, Harry Potter um, warmer. I can't believe that. With the case of the four um, Hogsworth, um, I know what I'm trying to say. Um, divisions. I honestly think that if they would have had the sorting hat as a uh, Scentsy Warmer, that would have been really neat too. This one's really neat. It's nice, but I'm not going to be um, buying it. I've seen all this Harry Potter series. I like it. I'll be buying the wax, but the warmer, no. <laughs> the warmer is beautiful, and I know a lot of people are going crazy over it, so... Um, once you pre-order, it's $20 Canadian uh, deposit, and then you won't be receiving them until February 2022. So that's a long time to wait, but that's just the way the business has been going lately. Um, a lot of pre-orders this year, but as soon as you get them, um, the waiting period time seems to be forgotten, and you fall in love with the product. So, okay, without further ado, without me going on and on, on today, I will share with you my small Sensi clearance haul. I ended up going car bar crazy. I don't know why, but anyways, um, I picked up a whole crap load. And, um, yeah, you think, um, you think car bars were going out of sale or something. Anyways, I ended up picking up three Coastal Strawberry. Never smelt that scent before. A lot of people say it's really, really nice. There's the packaging. There's what that looks like. This is the old packaging, by the way, the way a car bar used to come. And I just lost one of them. And then the packaging. So I ended up with three of those. One's on the floor now. So three of those. And then I ended up, this is also the new packaging now. So Sweet Pea and Vanilla, and I ended up with three of them, but one fell on the floor. I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> um, that's the new packaging. So 
so I don't know if I like the new packaging over the old packaging I think that's a lot of plastic and this was pretty much I don't know if this is recyclable to be honest um, tell me if it is um, I really haven't looked into it before and the old I think this one is easier to send out to people than this one but anyways that's just my opinion what do I know and then um, I ended up with three snow kissed cranberry so three sun kissed cranberry and snow kissed cranberry is a very very nice I call it a winter scent you can warm it actually I liked it in the um, um, wax bar it's got that cranberry kind of Christmassy kind of feel so that one I really can tolerate normally I don't like cranberry scents they're very bitter um, that one I seem to like and then I ended up with strawberry and rock melon. That's another good wax I really, really enjoyed. It was in the international collection when that was available. So I ended up with two. I thought I ordered three. And then I ended up with, well, I should have had three shimmer. So anyways, three shimmer. I don't know where the other bar went to, but that's a very nice light, light berries in a cloud type kind of um deal so it's very very nice and so I thought that would be cool in a car bar so I'm all set for car bars there and then um I decided to go ahead and buy apricot and vanilla um I've never smelt the wax before but I really really love our hand and body lotions the hand lotion is about half of that and then our body size so this is a good deal I don't know why this didn't sell out um, but we'll see and I'll open it so that's what that looks like it's still available actually in the clearance section so snag it um, wow I already took the tip off but anyways it's this consistency and look how thick that is like that's very very thick and I really really love the consistency because it really right, right away absorbs into your skin like oh and the smell oh wow I really really like that I mean I've got to try it in the wax now I don't know why I haven't tried it in the wax it's um heirloom peach apricot and vanilla ice cream well I don't know about the ice cream part but the vanilla and peach part and apricot really really comes through so any of our um, scented body creams or hand um, creams are really really nice so um, I would highly recommend those and there no stickiness no nothing I really really like that and then um, I ended up with this was part of um, the Christmas collection last year. It's a snowflake spin wall fan um, diffuser. I really, really like that one because it has the snowflakes that come um, through. It has a light in it, and I forget how much I paid for it, but it, it was a really, really good price. Um, I already had one, but I bought another one. Um, makes a good gift. And then here's the snowflakes on the bottom. So you plug it in like that. And then this is how, this is pretty big. And your two um, pods go in there. And then you would just click it on in the light and the snowflakes come out. So that's really, really cool. Um, so that is no longer available. The other one, the blush um, spin, um, diffuser uh, that came out in Valentine's Day. It's still available in our clearance section. So go grab it if you're interested in that. And then um, I ended up getting this. I had this at one point. I had showed it on my channel, but I ended up gifting my other war war warmer to someone else. Tongue tied today. So love is all you need. I think this is such a pretty, pretty, pretty warmer. It was a... Um, a charitable warmer I think last spring and summer 2020 or 2019 not really sure but anyways um, really really pretty warmer and then um, 
always comes with a sensi mission statement and a quote. Life can be hard sometimes and we all need a little shade. Without shade, we can't appreciate our time in the sunshine. Um, love Heidi. Love and kiss, hugs and kisses. And then you always have all your paperwork here. And then do not throw this out. This is your dish. If you ever wonder, well, is that packaging? No, it's your dish. Some people do throw it out, which is kind of silly. But anyways, and this is what the dish looks like. It's like a clear purple, more clear than, it's a light purple actually. And then it has four cubes on the bottom. And I wouldn't go over four cubes. Um, I do two cubes. Um, if you need three, that's fine. But anything over four, you'll, you'll have a wax accident and it'll be messy and yuck. You don't want that. And then here's what the warmer actually looks like. And I don't like the styrofoam packaging. I prefer the other packaging. And I just don't want to break this. Um, and then here's the warmer. And then the light bulb. And then here's the warmer. The warmer usually comes in plastic. I took the plastic off to make things easier. And then, um, love is all you need. And look how pretty that is. Like, it's gorgeous. And then you have your cord here. And so I was happy to see it in clearance, so I snagged it. I need another warmer, like I need a hole in the head. But what can you do? Um, I love what I love. I normally don't like glass warmers, but lately that's all I've been buying. So maybe I do like glass warmers more than I think I do. And then last but not least, and I should have had two of these, but my packing slip said two, but I bought two, but only one came. So I'm going to have to go to customer service and say one didn't show up, is the Berry Bright um, Sensipod. And this is sweet. It's fruity. Um, I'm actually starting to like it more and more. To me, it smells like candy. Um, normally, um, when I first started, I couldn't stand fruity, um, sweet kind of smells. They were just off-putting to me. But my nose has gravitated towards um, different smells and scents and um, families of scents groups. So yeah, um, it's coming around to stuff like this, but I would only warm, not warm, but diffuse one of these pods. To me, it's very, very strong. I have had the wax before. It's very long lasting. It is a powerhouse, so very bright. Um, I don't think these are available, but I know the Mandarin, Mandarin, Nectar ones from the summer collection are still available in our Scentsy collection. That is a nice smell. I should have bought a couple of those pods. I think I'll go back and do that. But anyways, I think i all up on Scentsy happenings and what's going on. Oh, for anybody that wanted to know, um, I complained that I couldn't get motivated to do my housework. Well, I ended up taking Tuesday and Wednesday and doing my house. It's a small house, but still it took me two days of eight hours of um, going from top to bottom of my house. I have two and a half bathrooms, so it's exhausting. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't imagine having anything bigger, but what can you do? I have like two sets of stairs. One for upstairs or one for downstairs. I couldn't even imagine having anything bigger. Like I said, it's it's huge for me. But anyways, I'm lucky. And um, yeah, I ended up getting it all done. So I was really, really happy. So my house is pretty much um, straight for now. <laughs> it's straightened up. It's cleaned. The only thing I have to do is I forgot to dust on the upper um, part of my china um cabinet because I'm so short I forget about spots like that and then I'll look up and it's like oops I dropped I forgot to dust there and dust there but anyways I'm human <laughs> I hope everybody um, enjoyed this video um, please like and subscribe um, if you have any comments please 
add them below. I would love to hear from you. I love interacting with everybody. And I hope you have a great day and have a great week. Catch you on the flip side. Bye for now.